What's up world, it's your boy Drew Marcy here for How To Rap and in this video we're gonna run a clip with none other than music marketing maverick Brand Man Sean. We're gonna break down why some of the music videos and songs, even with tons of cash thrown at them, highest quality cameras, highest quality recording, still don't go viral. We'll break down why just throwing money at getting your content seen or throwing a bunch of money at so-called quality content isn't gonna cut it in the coming years and we'll give you some some tips on how to improve your music marketing even if you don't have tons of cash. So let's rock into the clip and then we'll hit you with a quick review. Let's go. That's real. I always say, man, people need to spend more time on the actual creative. Like We've gotten to this point where we think, oh, well, let me just get a 4K video. It's a high quality, right? Let me just get this to look like this and put and buy some new clothes and think that this is going to make the video popping. But the thing is, like quality videos have been com commoditized, right? There's a lot of quality videos. People expect quality videos so much so that non-quality videos break through at times, right? Like we're not in that marketplace anymore where people didn't have access to, to high quality cameras and things like that. So what does that mean? This is good because it puts the onus back on the artist to have actual creative. We, we spend time, we create these concepts and we're, all right, let's put this out. Let's do the video like that. But okay, that's a cool video. Cool doesn't do anything, right? We need something that's better than cool, right? Cooler than cool, as Andre said, right? Because that's the stuff that's remarkable. I always, I go back to that, the purple cow type phrase, remarkable. And the things that are remarkable, people wonder, oh, why does this blow up? And it's not good, right? You either have things that are amazingly like amazing or you have things that are trash and worth talking about right they're both worth talking about nobody talks about the stuff in between if it's so bad you like yo how many times have you said bro this dude sucks but like check this out or like this video is crazy like like you know what i mean like people when american idol launched a, a, one of people's favorite part about it was watching the bad singers right yeah. because it was a creating conversation worth talking about so that's why some portions of back content does move because it's about creating conversation creating emotion whatever that emotion might be then on the other end you can do the positive version of that i have some great content but it has to be still worth talking about what emotion are you trying to trigger when you drop this content and sometimes well pretty much all the time it's after that you have that foundation okay you had a cool idea now let's step back let's become objective about it and what makes this something like what makes this something worth talking about what makes this really interesting not just because it was a, a, a cinematic shot video and you told a story yes you told the story that's good you have a video that actually because some people's songs they have a story and you want to tell that specific story okay cool you got the baseline story now what's the thing that's going to make it worth viewing like tv that's what they have to do that you have to put these elements of suspense and things like that you're no different it's all content newsflash none of this stuff is is different we don't there is like as a consumer yes we get told these are different formats and i like doing this versus that but it's all just content whether i'm watching a commercial whether i'm watching this interview whether i'm watching a movie at the movie theater big screen whether i'm watching a reality tv show or i'm watching like my own videos um like just scrolling through my own phone right the a guy so much so a dude i think this might have been ogilvy but this is like back in the 1970s back when tv was the thing right tv was this instagram this this uh all these these youtube all these social media platforms and he was saying if a commercial isn't interesting and worth watching without the sound then it's not a good commercial right wow. that applies today like these elements do not change at the end of the day we're just watching and consuming it's are, are, is it interesting or is it not? Does it hold my attention? Does it not? Simple question. Yeah, I love that. Building on that uh, from the pure raw music side of it, I always tell my students, look, you know, a five-year-old to an 85-year-old needs to be able to sing this song that you're, mm. that you're handing me after the first listen. Right. After the first listen. And that's what I add. And when I say mm. it in that sense, it starts to scare them. You know, because to sort of like you, I'm just thinking of the music equivalent of this co commercial should be interesting whether the sounds on or not. Okay, this song needs to be memorable whether or not the person understands 
mm-hmm. what is being said or what it's about, right? And if we were in different genres, maybe like pop, you might say something like, I need to be able to dance to this whether or not I know what it's about. You know what I mean? There are different versions of that. But a lot of times I think that the, the artist, they think that, that their feeling about the song or where they would, how they would experience the song is how the fan would experience the song. In the same way that the, the uh, commercial director might th- is thinking, well, I think this commercial is creative because I work in commercials or I've seen, and I'm like, it's not about, not about what you think is the creative, it's about how would this person interact with it. And the truth of the matter is, kind of a side tangent there, but the truth of the matter is, most of the time when people listening to your songs, artists, they're listening to it when they're in an emotionally heightened state. Uh, they're drunk, they just broke up with their girl, uh, they're at a party, they're driving, they're, we live in LA, they're driving, they're stuck on the highway and they're just listening to the song to get out. So I think that just access for me, that, that importance of simplicity. A lot of times people like ourselves tell the artists like, look, keep it simple. What we're talking about keeping it simple is simplify the experience that you're sending to your viewer or your, your, uh, your, your listener, you know? And, I can say on my end is sort of a YouTuber and somebody, it's like a little bit on the education side. And I'm curious about your experience with this. A lot of times the videos that blow up are much more simple than I'm thinking. You know, our biggest our biggest video, how to, rhyme, how to rap, rap forever or something. And it's like, you know, multi-syllable rhymes, jack, jackpot, black spot, or how to write a rap. <laughs> You know, pick what you, and I'm just sitting there like, I just did this because I needed <laughs> to get, I was like, I told myself I'd make a video a day, but it's because yeah. it's so simple and it's not in Drew's vision of what, this is how y'all rap. You know what I'm saying? Those videos, when I do that, just nothing. So there's a lot of gems here on this clip with Rayman Sean. I think the biggest takeaway here is that just because you invest money into content doesn't mean that it's automatically going to be seen as the best. Often when a market like underground rap gets saturated with money, then money becomes the cliche and then a lower quality piece that has a lot of creative can be seen as the best ironically. This is an advantage for you as an up and coming artist because it means that if you put work in on the creative side, then having a little lower, less quality may actually work to your advantage. We'll be dropping more clips from this interview over the course of the next week or two, so be sure that you're subscribed with notifications because we drop daily videos, and be sure to check out Brain Man Sean on Instagram, YouTube, and BrainManNetwork.com. I've been your host, Drew Marcy. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Peace.